Miss Goodshire, having a blocked nose sounds like a very minor problem, but uh, it can affect your quality of life. It can actually, and it's often something that's lasted for a long time before somebody comes to see the doctor. Um, and this is partly because people manage, they just manage day mm -hmm. to day. Often when the symptoms get severe enough, that means that people are finding themselves mouth breathing for long periods of time, maybe even something as, um, as severe as snoring at night and finding that they're having difficulty breathing at night, then they often seek attention. But the other causes could be seasonal changes. So they may find that summertime is particularly bad, springtime with the pollens. Um, but when the symptoms are affecting things like uh, catarrh, headaches, and affecting the wider spread of nasal congestion, they may want to come and see the specialist. Mm -hmm. So is it a good idea to just run to the pharmacy and buy all these um uh, nasal sprays or should you do something else first? There's a huge variety of sprays available over the counter and to be honest I spend much of my time weaning people off of these <laughs> even mm. though they, they are over the counter and people deem them as being safe. Yes. The reality is that they're quite addictive, things like Otravine um, are readily available and we find that uh, people reach for them and have been on them for several months. There is a maximum term for some of these, and if you read the small print, it says one week maximum. So they can help during a cold, and they're certainly helpful in the interim period. But if symptoms last for longer than four to six weeks, you really should seek attention from your GP first. And then, obviously, they'll refer you to a specialist. What they often will start with is a nasal steroid prescribed spray, which is readily available, not a problem to use for at least four to six weeks as a trial period. And if symptoms don't abate from that, then speciality assessment with, with an ENT specialist is worth it. Mm -hmm. And the main cause is for blocked noses? It is, and the thing is, it may not actually be affecting both nostrils. It may be that one side is more blocked than the other. So an ENT specialist will be able to look at the causes of this, whether it's anatomical, a deviation of the nasal septum, whether it's something as uh, common as polyps, which can happen due to allergies, um, and even just a nasal blockage from pollution, dare I say it. Um, mm. It's very common. It affects people in London. We're finding it increasingly in city life, and we're seeing it more and more in younger people and children as well. And the, uh, the range I mean, uh, of treatments available allow you to bring back some form of quality of life and, and of uh, Oh, they certainly do. Yes, they certainly do. And they could be as mild as just saline rinses. Mm -hmm. So saline rinses are homeopathic and I encourage most people to try this initially, mm -hmm. even while they're waiting for a doctor. They help cleanse the nose and bring things back to some kind of clarity. And most patients really love it and long term it's very helpful as an adjunct. But we certainly can make a difference with nasal sprays. They are usually of a steroid basis which makes people concerned at the outset. However, I'm always reassuring them that the steroid base is very minimal, they are safe and they can be used long term. And the condition could be as simple as allergic rhinitis, which is equivalent to asthma of the nose. Um, and this can be treated over a period of short few weeks and then paused for several months and then restarted if symptoms come back. Mm -hmm. But we have the facility to look at in the, inside the nose at a deeper detail with endoscopy, which helps us to ascertain whether the sinuses are affected, whether there's any ongoing infection or anything else in the back of the nose as well, particularly in children. So there's a variety of things that we look at in a three-dimensional basis mm -hmm. and can treat it specifically depending on the cause. Okay, so don't just reach for the uh, I would not over reach the over the counter sprays, sprays other than during yes. an acute cold. Okay, thank you very much. Please Thank you. Down.